Hey guys, what's up? I have been using Android Nougat on my Nexus 6P since the first public beta. And a week back, Google has started rolling out the OTA updates for the Nexus devices. So after using the public beta and the final build of Android Nougat, I got to know some of the hidden features or the features which are missing in the final version of the Android Nougat. So I am going to show you how to enable them. Let's check it out. Firstly, split screen multitasking is a huge update for the Nexus devices and now I'm going to show you how you can use more than two apps for multitasking. If you have seen my previous top 5 Android apps of the month video, then you may get to know about this app which is taskbar and scrolling down to the app, you will find free form window support, you need to enable it. Then go to developer options and scroll down to force activities to be resizable and also enable it. Now launch taskbar app, go to the recent apps and clear all the apps. Then click on the after icon at the bottom and now you will see all our apps ready for multitasking. In Android Nougat, you will be not able to find Google's Flappy Bird game. So for that, you need to install Activity Launcher. Then go to All Activities. Next, scroll down to System UI. This feature will be a big help to all people out there who are using Android Nougat. You can drag and drop the text from the multi window. So here in the above window, we have Google Play Store and in the down one, we have Google Slides. So as you can see here, I have selected the text. Now I'm going to drag and drop it into the slides. So this makes it easy to complete the job on time. Next feature will help you to easily pin apps on your share menu. So here I am in Google Plus. Now I want to share this post on Facebook. Now simply long press on the Facebook icon and there will be two options that are pin the app and app info. So click pin, it will move to the top in the share list. You can even unpin it in the same way. The last one is night mode. You may have found this in the developer preview but not in the official build. So the simple thing you need to do is go to the settings icon in the top and long press it till it shows the system UI tuner is added. Now you need to download this app which is night mode enabler. Now go to the app and enable it. It will directly take you to the system UI tuner. Now enable and disable till you don't find the tint on your screen. Now you will find a night mode option on your quick toggles. So guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment down below. You can freely subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to follow us on the social media links given below in the description for more tech news.